Uh, I want to bring in Steve Harrigan, who's been covering this case for us, our senior correspondent. Steve, your um, reaction, having covered this case uh, throughout. That's right, Martha. I remember being down there five years ago on Valentine's Day, and I think you're right to point out the emotion, emotion on both sides. There are some parents of slain children in that room, and Scott Peterson. At age 60 years old, he was the deputy on duty. He was the police resource officer, and he was accused of doing nothing as the shooting went on, the shooting by Nicholas Cruz that murdered 17 people, 14 of them students, and several of those students just 14 years old. He made his first rounds through the middle school, shooting a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, so the emotions still five years later are raw on both sides. Scott Peterson, age 60, could have easily been sent to prison for the rest of his life. And those family members looking for some justice, for some retribution, and what they feel was a man who did not do his job, a man who sat outside that building for four and a half minutes while that shooting continued. Martha? Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that was discussed in this case, they brought in other witnesses who were also in the school and its environs and had them testify as to whether or not they could hear or tell how many shots or where the shots were being fired, what buildings they were coming from. Um, it's interesting. I mean, you know, when we all covered this case, Steve, it, it looked, you know, it looked as if there could be negligence on the part of this individual because we all want someone to run into the building and save these children. And uh, but this, you know, this jury was privy to two and a half weeks of hearing both sides of this case, and they found him not guilty, Steve. That's right. And I think this case also really shook up how people view school shootings and the response to school shootings as well. There was video of some of the officers really standing outside that school building as the shooting went on, shooting that lasted for more than six minutes. So it really changed the way some of these school shootings are approached. We saw a recent one in Nashville where the officers rushed in immediately, found the shooter, shot the shooter while the shooter was still actively killing children. So it really was a shakeup in how these cases are handled by law enforcement. Yeah, you have to wonder, Steve, um, obviously there'll be, a, I would imagine, a similar situation in Uvalde, Texas, where we all watched the just heartbreaking video of the officers standing at the end of the hall and not going into those rooms. And you have to wonder what the impact of this case, you know, might be on that one moving forward. Certainly, it's a tremendously difficult job, but it was hard to view some of that footage from Parkland, Florida, five years ago, when you have the resource officer whose job it is to defend, to save children, showing up without an armored vest and really taking cover for himself, locking down the building while children continue to be murdered by an insane gunman, Nicholas Cruz. Yeah. Steve, thank you very much. Steve Harrigan, as we cover this breaking news this afternoon. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.